Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for January 28th to February 3rd, 2019 so uh, while I'm shuffling the cards once again guys I want to remind you that this is going to be a uh, general reading for Cancer Star Sign and uh, for that reason in this video I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well uh, their synergy in the spread but uh, ultimately you will have to align this general reading with your personal situation just like I'm doing for the examples I'm giving in this, uh, in this video now if you want uh, me to do that for you uh, to analyze your personal situation uh, through tarot just like I'm doing for the examples in this video that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as uh, their pricing so these are the four general cards here for your week and this is going to be also an enhanced tarot spread which means that we're going to draw additional card per position so we do have six of cups in the topic of your week high priestess into the core of the situation three of swords that will be the challenges which are causing predicaments and the last one guidance the tarot is offering to you that is the ace of pentacles so guys this week just from the overview it does look like that you will have the opportunity to creatively approach a, a certain matter uh, in your life either a project deed you know or a, a relationship cycle as well the thing is with the six of cups that uh, is that this whatever you are approaching it will give you emotional and physical satisfaction as well it is very important but the six of uh, the six of cups it is also somewhere in the middle of the suite which uh, which means that there is quite a lot of work to be done yet still however throughout this week you are going to be quite satisfied with the results that you are um, that you are achieving on your behalf either relationship wise or either career wise as well additionally the ace of pentacles here it is pointing as a guidance that there are so much more than you can accomplish in this undertaking that you have started and yet the high priest is into the core of the matter it does also talks that you will have to do it on your own so it's kind of like not exactly on your own guys there will be people which are support which will want to support you but with the high priestess they will not be able to uh kind of fuse themselves if, if i can use that term fuse themselves with the with the entire thing with the core of the situation with with the soul of the undertaking and only you will be the one who understands the the entirety of the situation at all so these people even though they may have um, the best intentions ever uh, they won't be able to give you much help it is because they will not understand where you're coming from and what you want to accomplish and most importantly why you want to do that so the six of cups here is accompanied with the hermit card so definitely we do have a, a very substantial cycle throughout the week for you uh, cancers that will be a, a meaningful one of the most meaningful undertakings that you are to start throughout the week and uh, most likely that you are to push throughout the week as well so for example because I know a cancer um, that has problems with um, with the next you know uh, these cards are pointing that probably throughout this week uh, this friend of mine is going to have a, an upper hand and is going to find a way and etc etc but uh, what the, what the hermit here gives us a uh, as a, a color it does says that you are going to approach the the situation very intelligently and uh, with a great amount of wisdom I know though there may be not anybody there to uh, to applaud you on what decision you make and what direction you take as well um, 
this will be exactly the direction that you need to uh, start walking upon because it, it is the substantial thing in your life. Example straight away. Uh, let's say that you are um, married into somebody, regardless man or a female, it, it, it does not matter. And your family, it's approving the marriage enormously, all right, but you are feeling yourself unhappy in it. So you decide to um, dissolve the marriage and there you go, you know, your family is not supporting you throughout this um, throughout this development or throughout this undertaking but this undertaking it is something very substantial because it's gonna free you, it's gonna make you happy and you physically you know is going to be much better than what you are right now or it could be vice versa you know your family may not approve the person that you like or that you love and yet you decide to go into marriage with them because you know it is something that is going to make you happy and it's something that physically is going to make you uh, much much better right so we are talking about emotional and physical satisfaction here which is extremely good if you have someone uh, that you date with right because these, these cards guys are pointing that the sex is going to be awesome all right so if you recently start dating with someone and you still haven't contribute into sex with one another well these cards are pointing that the sex is going to be awesome anyway so we're seeing with that the general topic of the week is going to be very positive for you cancers and uh, these cards here are advising you not to uh, listen to everybody around you but the only uh, how can I place it? The only solution that you can find for yourself what to do next, it, it does lie within you, all right? And only you can answer to that question. If you are, for example, trying to figure out, am I on the right path? No one than you can answer that, all right? Or what should I do next? Well, these cards are pointing that only you know the answer of that. And uh, basically, you got to do it against even against those that are trying to stop stop you of doing it. And that is further supported here with the High Priestess, which is the core of the situation with the Judgment card. Look at that. So the Judgment card, it is the wake-up call and it is the, um, how can I place it, the resolution of one's uh, wobbling in between options available. So you do have, for example, many options available, but neither of them suits you well. And suddenly, you know, something happens, a flash of insight, let's say, or circumstances that are, um, that are happening around you. And you find out that there is a, another option available that you haven't considered until this very moment. So we do have a, a change of perspective here, you know. And uh, even though, as I said, that not many people are going to support you throughout that, you, it is the, exactly the one that you will have to take. However, uh, these cards are passive enemies. So what we do have here is that, um, how can I place it? Intuitively, you know, you may be afraid of taking this... Uh, this path and that is totally fine i mean to intu intuitively to be afraid to take uh, to take this option available and maybe that has a lot to do with the support that you are expecting you know i mean many people unlike me because i am kind of like i don't want to say struggling you know but let's say i'm facing everything in my life on my own but the majority of this world or the population, it's not like that. I mean, people want to have support, you know, people have friends, um, have families and etc, etc. And they're expecting support. So the fact that you all have to walk alone um, toward your goal, maybe something that scares you and maybe something that intuitively tells you to stop doing it, that will be a severe how can I place it a severe sit back if you allow this thing to happen? I mean, the 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 fear of that you have to move on uh, on your own. But um, the more you contemplate on it, and uh, the more you think about it, 
you uh, the more you will figure out that actually trying to please everybody but your own it is the worst thing that you can do it is because this is why it is pleasing everybody but but yourself it is because you're not pleased but you are you know everybody around you every everybody else around you it's pleased so what these cards are asking you here is just for a second you know stop to think about everybody but yourself and instead think for yourself but everybody and try to find out what is what is that thing guys that will make you that you make you feel happy what is that thing that will give you the goal you require and um, it is it is basically a, a matter of uh, how can I place it a personal perseverance if you want to say that way to take on that decision and straight away I'm giving you an example here you know uh, let's say that you have been offered a, a very good job but you are living now in New York however the job is in LA is in LA but your family doesn't want to move or doesn't want you to move you know and this is the thing that obstructs your job and they say if you move if you move forget about us all right so you have to think for yourself at least according to these cards you have to think what you, what, what what is going to make you happy and make the decision that way all right so you got to dive deep down within yourself and find those answers now the next card that we do have this is the tree of swords and the tree of swords is about the challenges which are causing predicaments and this card in this specific place with the devil card on top of that so we do have active neutrals here uh, active enemies excuse me so this these this combination points that the people that which does not want you to take on this meaningful direction of your behalf or substantial direction of your behalf is going to use everything that they can in order to stop you and everything I mean mental cruelty and what is mental cruelty I, I had that question in a private reading so mental cruelty it is when people are making you feel guilty for what you are doing that people are making you feel guilty that you are trying to make yourself happy on their behalf that you are cutting off their happiness of your happiness and all of their happiness it is because you sacrifice your happiness for their happiness if that makes sense another example here and now let's say that you are in um, in a business relationship with somebody but um, you know uh, and you are contributing much more than that person for the business itself and now you do have a proposition for another business and uh, I'm sorry guys they're making uh, reconstructions obviously so uh, on on the upper floor so uh, that person um, kind of make you will try to make you feel guilty that they will starve you know that you are leaving their children without any income and etc etc you know that without that you are abandoning them that you are betraying them and so on and so forth so it's kind of like people around you people that are not agreed with your decision to make yourself happy you know it is because they will no longer be able to benefit from your uh, from your performance and from your contribution again will um, will do anything they can to give you mental cruelty or to make you feel guilty that you are trying to make yourself happy which is ridiculous but um, you will be surprised <laughs> how many uh, there are in that similar uh, in that similar situation i mean that are sacrificing their own happiness uh, for the happiness of someone else and they are doing that i don't know why i, I literally doesn't have any any answer to that why you would sacrifice you know your happiness so someone else has a, a, a a big opinion for you or someone else is feeling better than you are uh, than you are feeling to me it sounds preposterous but I don't know there are just such people and these cards are advising you not to be 
such a person because as we said this week will offer you such a, a substantial direction in your life that uh, you are going to feel not just emotionally happier but also physically better and uh, at the end uh, what we do oh and uh, one more thing here um, you will have to uh, not you will have to but these people that will try to um, divorce you from uh, from that direction will as well try to do it by making you by doing anything they can to make you think that you are doing the right the, the wrong choice here all right so they will they will plant the seed of doubt the seed of self doubt as well for example if we're following the job um, the job example here uh, your business partner will try to make you feel that you're not fitting with the new job that you're worthless and etc etc that you will not be able to handle it and so on and so forth so it's very important as well to have a um a personal confidence self-confidence here that even though you may not be entirely qualified or you know kind of like missing a specific small things minor details these things can be uh, can be sorted out as you go along with uh, with your new direction and finally we do have the ace of pentacles here with the two of wands which is the guidance that tarot is offering to you and the ace of pentacles it asks you with the two of wands as well it, it asks you to search to search the wealth for yourself now wealth with the ace of pentacles it is um very different it could be money as well but wealth is everything that you find value uh, that you found that you find value in for example wealth could be as well love for you wealth could be as well family wealth could be as well health and etc etc so whatever gives you an improvement here you will need to seek a way to improve it throughout the week because you will have that way presented to you the two of wands points to the aggression all right to the unyielding uh, drive of your behalf to make that improvement regardless of what the rest is telling you because the, the two of wands when it comes to advice it points that you need to seek new fields to conquer right and as you can see here the woman holding the wand of power it's on her own there is no one else seeing what she's seeing all right only you can or yeah only you are seeing the uh the potential that it is unfolding in front of you the rest that are around you they cannot see what you see guys they they just they the only thing that they see is that you will no longer be there as uh, as soon as you approach that new direction and if we look at the ace of pentacles here the door is opening for you i mean the door for um stability and uh, solidity as well as the pentacle is about um, material uh, material stability it is about harmony as well it is about success into one business as i said harmony into one relationship and in general placing it's not even the foundation but the start of a new lucrative and very very happy enterprise in your life it is just you will have to overcome the initial resistance of those that will not embark that road with you so that being said this was your uh, tarot reading cancers and now let me shuffle the lenormand cards and what they are to show us is a uh, event that you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid in uh, any way you can All right, so we do have the mountain, and the mountain six is here. Uh, predicaments, delays, challenges as well, and another way um, around. We do have the garden, and the garden sits for uh, crowds, it sits for people, social gatherings, and etc., etc. So we do have predicaments caused by people here, as I said in the tarot reading. And then we do have the uh, the tree, and the tree stands for um, roots. 
it stands for uh, long term as well and it stands for health but uh, this is a um, so we do have uh, the Lenormand is pointing that we do have problems caused by a people that have been long time your companions or long time your followers as well so you do have a, a prolonged interactions with them not excluded that that could be as well coming from your family with these uh, with these cards here as it also points to the roots so it's kind of like problems caused by people which are your roots all right uh, and yet again um, even if that's the case and uh, you know your family stands against your decision you need to consider that uh, your, it's true that your family gave your life but it is your life all right and you have to decide uh, what your life is um, how to improve your life all right you need to seek a way to improve your life even if it goes against your elders so that being said uh, cancers this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading for january uh, 28 to february 3rd 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again that was a general reading for cancer star sign and for that reason in this video i explained uh, the meanings of the cards and uh, as well their synergy in the spread but ultimately you have to align this uh, reading with your personal situation for maximum accuracy if you want me to do that for you well that is a subject of personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.